This is a trade recap for July 25th. We're trading the ES futures here. And today was the day before FOMC and also the day before some mega cap earnings. Microsoft and Google reported after hours. Um, because of all these big news events happening after hours and later, today ended up being pretty slow as expected. Um, the general speed of the tape was slow and there was not a lot of uh, high volatility. However, there was a great trade opportunity here that I wanted to break down. Just a little macro context. Um, we have been flirting around this 4593 level many times. Um, it's acted as resistance over the last week or so, uh, and we tested it again today. When we opened up, uh, we got a quick 20 or 10, 10 point move off of the lows here, uh, up from 45.80 into the 45.90s, right up into this 93 area of resistance, and saw a, a high, high volume, potentially capitulation volume at the top of the range, and lots of passive sellers up here waiting to be absorbed. Um, price didn't ever quite reach that level, but it is uh, concerning to me as someone who is has been buying the dips and relatively long biased I was not willing to uh, try to long into this strength I wanted to see a pullback um, and there wasn't anything super convincing on the intraday tape uh, or, or bookmap order flow that uh, piqued my interest until about 730 we got an aggressive sell-off high volume um, and then Price began to bounce back up, still wasn't terribly interested in what was going on because I thought that we could see potentially a larger sell-off from this area. Um, we got another quick uh, sell sweep here, and then we started to see some buying activity come in at the 4586.50 area. And this is where it gets interesting. We start to see large aggressive buying here, and what appears to be a hidden seller because we never see uh, any additional orders fill up uh, on the uh, ask here, but we've got aggressive buyers being absorbed. So I was watching this closely to see if we broke up or we broke down. If we broke up, it had my interest. It now becomes a potential valid confirmation to get long. Um, because I like to see that we have pulled back from the lows. Uh, we have some uh, kind of a high volume event. That we have some potential trap sellers down here. And now we have um, an aggressive buyer who is being rewarded to the upside after some accumulation. Uh, so all of these things suggest to me that there is upside in the future. So I did put a position on. I waited for a little bit of a pullback here, and I ended up getting uh, long at about 45.87. Price oscillated around. My line in the sand, however, was going to be this 86.50 because of this key accumulation. Um, and I was hoping to see some nice progress. This was a nice move up for a couple of points, and a pullback is expected. We got a second move up. And we were unable to break the highs. And given the conditions, the lower volatility, uh, and then approaching some news events, I was not super convinced with this price action. I was hoping for a bit more of a move at this point. And so I decided to protect myself um, and adjust my position size uh, uh, or my stop here. Um, I did actually wait for price to come back down and test this level and it breached below and it flirted around and came back up. Um, and this is where I decided to exit for break even because this was uh, invalidating some of my thesis, uh, the failure to progress and um, the trade occurring below this area of interest. Um, and so price waffled around here a little bit more, and I wanted to see something more convincing. 
uh, for me to still consider this a valid trade because I was uh, out of the uh, out of the trade at this point. We saw another large move down, and this was, uh, in hindsight, my opportunity here. Um, we got another fairly aggressive move to the upside after some strong selling pressure, once again putting these sellers in pain. Um, and the rest is essentially history from that point on. We retested that level once, got a little bit closer the next time. A final attempt here by some more aggressive selling, and after that, the squeeze was on. Um, price ended up rallying up through all of this liquidity, some pretty huge volume here, uh, and then just some minor pullbacks and consolidation throughout the day, throughout the day with uh, continued very aggressive uh, prints coming in. So this ended up resulting in about a 20 point rally by the end of the day. Very nice trade. Unfortunately, I uh, did not seize that opportunity here on a potential re entry after seeing this move here, but just wanted to report on um, that opportunity and kind of how to look at uh, days when it might be lower volatility and you're not seeing much. It's always good to just be patient and wait for some in, uh, unusual activity, some kind of signal to really pique your interest and pop out um, to keep yourself from forcing trades when you really aren't seeing anything of interest. Uh, so there's the recap. Everybody have a great night.